friends welcome again to my channel where we discuss the science behind this world of medicine so today we will be discussing about hot and cold compressors for a sports injury now what exactly is a sports injury so let us suppose you twist your ankle or your wrist or get hurt by a heavy object hitting some part of your leg or hand you tend to have pain and swelling in that area without blood oozing out from your skin this is generally referred to as an internal injury or a sports injury which can happen to anyone ranging from a sports person to a normal person now what is the science behind this sports injury let us try and understand that let us suppose you twist your ankle there are immediately two things that happen within that area the first thing that happens is the blood vessels carrying blood to that area are damaged as a result of which there is blood that oozes out from that area causing swelling the second thing that happens is there is damage to soft tissues which are nothing but the muscle fibers in that area get damaged as a result of the damaged muscle fibers and the damaged blood vessels there is release of some chemicals within that area which causes increased sensation of pain and hence you have pain hence you can really appreciate that when you twist your ankle or you have a sports injury you have pain and you have swelling now if you go to a doctor or visit a doctor within the first 48 hours he or she would prescribe or tell you to get cold compresses or ice packs to that area where there is an injury why is it so the reason is application of ice packs to an injured area causes vasoconstriction what i mean by vasoconstriction is the blood vessels that are carrying blood to that area get constricted and as a result of which the oozing out of blood in that injured area reduces hence causing reduction in the swelling which may happen if you do not apply a cold or an ice pack the second thing that happens because of vasoconstriction is or reduced blood supply to that area is that the release of chemicals which cause pain is reduced and hence you have lesser pain hence if you apply a cold or an ice pack to an injury immediately within the first 48 hours you have reduced pain and reduced swelling now if you visit your doctor after 48 hours of an sports injury what he would say is he or she would say is to get a hot compress or a hot fomentation why is it so the reason is the pain and swelling of an injury have settled in have already settled in and it has gone up to a level of maximum now after this incidence of injury and pain and swelling the main motto is to heal that tissue faster so he or she would say to get a hot compress what hot compress or a hot fomentation does is it causes vasodilation vasodilation means it increases the size of the blood vessels which carry blood to the injured area as a result of increased blood supply to the injured area there is increased supply of nutrients being carried by the blood and increased supply of oxygen both of which are essential for a faster healing of the muscle fiber and hence you have a faster healing the second thing that is done by a increased blood supply to that area is increased release of macrophages which are some blood cells which eat up the dead tissue and hence because this eating up of dead tissue is increased there is reduced swelling and better healing hence hot compresses increase the process of healing by causing vasodilation which supplies more nutrients and oxygen and also uptakes lot of dead tissues so friends i hope now you understand what is the importance and signs of a cold compress and a hot compress because lot of people understand and know what needs to be done but they don't know the reason why it is to be done because there is science behind each and everything a doctor says and does i hope you like my video if yes please like share and subscribe and don't forget to watch my next video thank you